What's up everybody, it's Chase and today we're talking about the most important thing in all of trading, portfolio management and risk management. If you're a new trader, I'm telling you, take the time to learn about this stuff and we'll cover it all in this video, alright? We'll, we'll go over your total portfolio, how to spread it out in terms of risk, you know, if you want to do 1% per trade or 3% per trade, etc. We'll go through all that. I'll show you how to use the platform and enter your risk amounts into the Prime XPT platform so all your trades are going to you know, be perfectly smooth, no surprises and whatnot, okay? Uh, and I'm telling you, it's worth the time because it's not easy. People will come in and pretend it's easy. They'll say, oh yeah, I got 5,000 bucks, I'm going to risk 1,000 here, I'm going to risk 1,000 here. Uh, they're going to get blown out really quick. You may have one in 100,000 who uh, you know, just has a really strong success, hit, you know, hits a few in a row and gets lucky. But most of the time, that, that's not how it is. So let's talk about how we can set up a new trader for success and what all this means. Well, first off, balance. This will be just your total portfolio here that you have on Prime. Equity is your balance plus your unrealized PL. Uh, your used margin, depending on what type of position you have open, you'll see your margin here and what percentage of margin, available margin you have left. Okay, so a new trader, they come on, let's say, you know, you got $100,000. Okay, we're just going to use even numbers for the sake of of uh you know being able to do this fairly easily okay so a new trader has a hundred thousand dollars and what is the current bitcoin price the current bitcoin price is eleven thousand three hundred fifty five okay now i pre-did some of this math okay so it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect but it will be fairly close we haven't really moved much since five minutes ago uh so that's about 8.81 btc okay and any trader who's new to the game should understand that you don't want to get blown out in five trades. You know, you can lose a few trades in a row. So what I typically recommend is anywhere between a 1% and a 3% risk. Okay, I personally use 2%. That's where I'm comfortable. Um, and you are welcome to use whatever percentage you want. But honestly, anything over 5 and I feel like you're personally asking for trouble. That's just my opinion. Maybe someone will say otherwise. But I typically use 2%. Okay, so let's use 1% just as an example, okay? 1% risk per trade. So 1% risk would mean we're using $1,000 per trade, okay? And this is going to give you 100 trading attempts. Think about that. You'd have to lose, and uh, sorry if you're hearing my keyboard clicking, but you'd have to lose 100 trades in a row in order to lose all of your capital and be completely out of the game. Now that gives tons of room for learning, uh, to gain experience, to win, to lose, to figure out what you need to fix, to make adjustments in your trading strategy, uh, literally anything you could think of. A hundred attempts is a good amount and that's in my opinion where a new trader should be. Okay, so if you're talking, uh, you're talking a thousand dollars per trade is your risk, okay, and that's going to equal about 0 .088 BTC. Okay, so this means that we want any stop out, right? Anytime your SL is tagged should be equaling to a 0 0.88 BTC loss. Okay, so how do we implement that into Prime? Very simple. We go over here, let's pretend we want a long Bitcoin, right? Let's do place stop loss and take profit so we can see what our projected loss will be. And let's just start off... Uh, let me grab a number in here. We want to use, uh, let's say, a. Let's just go for simplicity. We're going to use a, a 100 point stop, okay? So 0 0.045, we got some room here. Let's get up to about 10. There you go. 0 0.088 BTC. A uh, tiny bit over, but you know, it, it'll suffice. Um, that is our risk percentage. That's 1% risk for a $100,000 account. We can see our margin impact will be 0 0.1, but in our account we have 8.81 BTC, so our margin is going to be very safe, very, very safe. We, we won't be using much at all, okay? So no worries there at all. And here's what a crazy amount of margin would look like to where your position would basically be, be, be closed instantly because you'd run out of available margin percentage. Um, let's say, let's just go with like 200. We'll use a big number off the bat. Okay, it's gotta be a bit higher. Okay, 250, there we go. So now we're using 8.5 BTC, okay? And let's say the stop is even, you know, 
if the stop was even 20 points away, right, there's your loss. You're already above your total accounts margin and the position is going to be closed. Now you're not going to lose the full 8.5 BTC. Um, you're going to lose this amount, but the position is automatically going to get closed. Okay. All right. So I know ultimately, like I said, a lot of this can sound confusing, but it's really not right. Unless you're going some kind of, some kind of, you know, full on degenerate competition mode, uh, for maximum, you know, percentage of P and L you should never be pushing your available margin too far. Um, and your stop loss should be well within the risk range that I spoke about anywhere from typically 1% to 3%. Uh, if you go up to 5, so be it. Just remember, you know, you're taking a lot more risk. You know, you go at 1%, you have 100 trades that you could mess up. You could learn 100 times. If you go to 2%, you have 50 chances to learn. Okay? And so on and so forth. You constantly the more you risk, the more you reduce your opportunity to learn and become a better trader over time. And if you're someone who's new to the game, you know, I can't stress it enough. It's it's it takes it takes time. It takes years to really to really get a grasp on on your own game and how to consistently improve and consistently profit. All right. So the next portion of this video is slightly less exciting, but uh, pretty cool in itself. OK, so first off, once again, we're on Prime XBT here. Uh, non KYC just to put that out there staying true to the crypto roots okay and we want to build our own workspace okay a place where we can customize the UI and have it just how we want it so I'm gonna make Chase's workplace here I'm gonna go up to add widgets I personally want to have the chart showing uh, dashboard I'll have my positions my orders and my trades okay that's how I would set mine up in my dashboard let's see I'll add BTC USD if that's what I feel like trading have my sell here my buy here easy I can just trade I can change this from regular trading to literally one click okay you click activate all it's gonna do is just one click and you buy boom so make sure you are quite cautious with the amount that you're buying or selling um, etc because it's it's just one click and you're in okay so you make sure if you want to be able to set all your normal uh, stop losses and all those things you want to be on regular trading Okay, and then once again, we can just go over to the chart, buy, and then we see here. Uh, make sure you check my previous videos, by the way, if you want to know more about all these order types, because we've gone over all them before. I wasn't going to do it again this video. Uh, I was just going to take up too much time. But yeah, we went over limit, you know, with the whole, all the stop loss, take profit, everything in previous videos. So go check that out. Um, let's hop over to one click trading. Uh, in my opinion, this is for more of your, you know, your active scalpers and whatnot, people who are really trying to get in and out quick. And uh, pretty simple here, you know, I'm just going to use a very small amount because obviously we're just, I have no sense of direction here. I'm just purely doing this for a show. Okay, boom, buy, one click. That's it, we bought. It shows up under your positions right here. If you want to close, right click, close, boom, and we're out. It's that simple. Literally one click trading, okay? So definitely something to check out here. And you can move any of these around however you want. You know, uh, I would say if you are a, you know, if you're like a really active scalper, say you're on the one minute or something crazy, um, do you really even need to see your orders if you're just marketing in and out? Not really. So I would just make the chart bigger. I'd get rid of this. I'd get rid of the trade section. Um, I would just have the chart nice and big. And then here would be my one click setup just to get right in and right out and close whenever I need to. Um, that's the thing that you know about Prime XBT is that I feel like you know some people think the platform is somewhat confusing but understand that it may be a bit tad more confusing because it has so many features to offer uh, you know it, it has this you know the click the crazy one click trading setting up your own workplace all these different ways to watch over your portfolio your margin amount uh, automatic leverage so it is slightly more confusing most likely but that's simply because you have an opportunity to have so many more uh you know so so many more ways to set up you know ways to set up orders uh multiple positions at a time you know using bitcoin as collateral for for crypto for forex for the S&P literally whatever you can think of basically you can do it on here U utilizing unrealized profit in order to open new positions um, and it's all based around you know keeping your keeping your margin intact there 
okay um see, i think i just flashed my thing yeah well if anyone wants to you could email me there it's what i use for uh this account only um all right so as always appreciate you guys tuning in thank you very much and uh i'll see you guys next time have a great day